I have got a lot of great news to tell you guys today, so please listen up. 31 states have now been approved for $281 max snap emergency allotments arriving in November. The state of California will be distributing the minimum of $95 to $281 in extra SNAP benefits to recipients' EBT cards according to the normal EBT deposit schedule. California recently posted a record $97 billion surplus. As a result, the state is sending rebates of between $200 and $1,050 to individuals earning less than $250,000 annually and households earning less than $500,000. Regarding the lovely state of Texas, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission is providing more than $334.5 million in emergency SNAP food benefits for the month of November, and the allotments are expected to help about 1.6 million Texas households. In New York, we also have some extra SNAP benefits headed your way this month. What's going on, my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mabinet Millennial, bringing you the latest news and most straightforward information out there for those of you on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and SNAP or EBT benefits. You can do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons. And let's get into this breaking news update regarding SNAP benefits. Now, if we take a look at the new states approved for minimum $95 or maximum $281, SNAP emergency allotments for the months of November and December, we now have a list of 31 states that have so far been approved waivers to extend these benefits. Besides SNAP emergency allotments, several states have also been sending out stimulus payments as well. While many of those stimulus payments were already dispersed, many states are still mailing out payments in November and beyond. Here's a quick overview of state stimulus payments that are still on the way. California began sending out payments between $200 and $1,050 on October 7th, but are continuing into January 2023. However, the state's Franchise Tax Board expects 95% of payments to arrive in residents' hands by December 31st, 2022. In Colorado, they issued payments of $750 to single filers and $1,500 to joint filers by September 30th, 2022. However, those who received an extension to file their tax returns may not receive their payments until January 31st, 2023. In the state of Idaho, most stimulus payments have already been sent out, but for those who filed their taxes late, rebates will be processed throughout 2022 and into 2023. Two stimulus payments were authorized in Idaho. The first was the hire of $75 or 12% of a tax filer's liability before credits and other adjustments, while the second was the greater of $300 for single filers, $600 for joint filers, or 10% of the tax liability before credits and other adjustments. Illinois began sending stimulus payments in September 2022, but the process is ongoing and is expected to last throughout much of the rest of the year. Eligible residents can receive up to two separate payments, an income tax rebate and a property tax rebate. The first payment is $50 plus up to $100 per dependent up to three dependents. The property tax rebate is equal to the property tax credit claimed on the filer's return up to $300. Maine authorized payments of $850 per person or $1,700 per married couple and began sending them out in June. However, payments will continue throughout 2022 as tax returns continue to be received. Massachusetts has authorized stimulus payments that are expected to begin in November 2022. The refunds are estimated to be approximately 14% of a filer's 2021 state income tax liability. With certain qualifications, New Jersey residents who owned or rented a primary residence in the state on October 1st, 2019 will be eligible for payments slated to be sent out no later than May 2023. Qualified renters will receive $450, while homeowners with household incomes of $250,000 or less 
will receive either $1,000 or $1,500. Pennsylvania began distributing property tax or rent rebate checks in August 2022. Depending on income and other qualifying factors, renters in Pennsylvania and homeowners are receiving a benefit that could go up to $650. Payments are due to continue into 2023, but qualifying individuals must file a claim before the end of the year. Rhode Island began sending out child tax rebate checks to qualifying families on October 3rd. Those who filed an extension on their tax returns may not see their payments until December 2022. Eligible families receive a check of $250 per qualifying child up to a $750 maximum. And lastly, we have the lovely state of South Carolina. Tax rebates will be issued in South Carolina to qualifying individuals by December 31st, 2022. But those filing their taxes late may not receive a payment until March 2023. The rebate amount has not yet been finalized, but the maximum amount will be at least $700 and possibly higher. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information you might have about your own SNAP benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the link down in the description. If you would like to listen to these videos while you drive in your car, you can now listen to me on my new Spotify station. And lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, you can now own your very own original Mad Men and Millennial t-shirt. Colors come in black, gray, red, and white, and the link to my store can be found right under this video. Alright guys, stay safe, stay hustling, and I will talk to you guys again soon.